In experiment 2, I programmed four functions in one schematic. For f1, switch 0 represents input A, switch 1 represents input B, and LED R0 represents output F1. When A is 0 and B is 0, F1 is 1. When A is 0 and B is 1, F1 is 0. When A is 1 and B is 0, F1 is 0. When A is 1 and B is 1, F1 is 1. For F2, Switch 2 represents input C, switch 3 represents input D, and LED R1 represents output F2. When C is 0 and D is 0, F2 is 0. When C is 0 and D is 1, F2 is 1. When C is 1 and D is 0, F2 is 0. When C is 1 and D is 1, F2 is 1. For F3, switch 4 represents input E, switch 5 represents input G, and LED R2 represents output F3. When E is 0 and G is 0, F3 is 0. When E is 0 and G is 1, F3 is 1. When E is 1 and G is 0, F3 is 1. When E is 1 and G is 1, F3 is 0. For F4, switch 6 represents input H, switch 7 represents input I, switch 8 represents input J, and LED R3 represents output F4. For the first half, H equals 0. When i is 0 and j is 0, f4 is 0. When i is 0 and j is 1, f4 is 1. When i is 1 and j is 0, f4 is 0. When i is 1 and j is 1, f4 is 1. For the second half, h equals 1. When i is 0 and j is 0, f4 is 0. When i is 0 and j is 1, f4 is 0. When i is 1 and j is 0, f4 is 0. When i is 1 and j is 1, f4 is 1.